does a really great job of upping the stakes throughout the piece. I think the pacing is really great and you do a great job of building tension throughout as you um, increase the stakes. I think this was written very well. I think it's very sharp, very complex, and I want to commend both the writers and the actors um, for the precision of which they execute the script. I, I know uh, some of these sequences probably were um, a bit of a slog to get through <laughs> and to memorize. Um, this is incredibly creative. I think you do a really great job with uh, transitions and editing to keep that pace and keep it um, interesting and and um, upbeat. We get two people that, you know, give us this familiar feeling of storytelling. You know, my mind goes to Marty and Doc and Back to the Future, right? We have these two, uh, you know, buddies who have come together to create this time traveling device. And as we see, there are a multitude upon multitude of outcomes of this butterfly effect. And so we get to see them build this device, build their friendship. And throughout these uh, moments of time, we're really getting these really thought-provoking statements and conversations happening between the two characters that give you a really good scope of an understanding of not only the way that science works, but the way that humanity um, dives in and is connected to science. And so we get this sense of man versus technology aspect. Based in real science, that takes a creative approach with the fictional it really puts the combined science fiction together nicely. Um, it makes a lot of references in history of science and, and the way things unfold in terms of experiments, as well as other science fiction films, which was really cool to see how it combined all those different elements. I particularly enjoyed the creativity with the props. I thought that was um, really creative and a nice touch. Wow, the writing is brilliant and compelling. So many references to science, literature, history, and religion. I love the locations of the long hallways and the somewhat dusty rooms. I appreciated the clever use of both techie sci-fi equipment and the old rotary dial phones as contrasts. The eerie soundtrack, notably with the echoey guitar, worked well, as did the crisp sound of the voices. I was impressed by the intensity, intelligence, and skill of the two main performers reciting the complicated text with precision. And I did like the closing shot of all the possibilities being played out of the adventure by showing the various outcomes, like where they succeed, where they fail, where the female character dies, and then another of them just doing this on their own. It was great to see this. Apart from that, I do like how the story is quite reminiscent to the Netflix series called Dark especially with the soundtrack by the end. So great job on that. 